Hey everybody, this is Derek with Engedi Grove. Uh, it's a new face. You usually don't see me, maybe on the other side of a camera doing some stuff, I guess. But today, Elizabeth wanted me to publish our pig video that she's been talking about where we went through the process of butchering and all of the other stuff associated to it. So um, we're about three weeks past that date where we actually did it, but I guess better late than never getting it out. We've actually had, as you've seen in some of our videos, some things that we've been working with with Nayeli. And it's just been a slow process getting to it, but we finally got it all put together and uh, here it is for you. We're putting pine needles in the water to, it will release a chemical that will help the hair come off more easily. Now they're kind of looking. You can yeah. maybe get in and. Yeah. So now shoot the next one, Grandpa. Yeah. That one's up. Wow, we're getting them good. They're gonna, they're gonna start eating. They're gonna start eating. Oh, yeah. Aha. Nah, make sure you get a good. Oh, you hog them. Okay. Oh, really? We're gonna try poking through behind their knee so that we can, you don't kick, that one there kicked, so that we can uh, tie through them because we don't have hanging apparatus to get them all wrapped around their feet as well as we want. So we're gonna try to go through here. Don't mess up my meat, baby. Through it, see if we can string them up through that. I don't know if we're, you probably want to make it quite a bit longer. Okay, that's what I was kind of thinking. Oh, kick. Mm -hmm. Maybe get a. Sounds like up through a there. Yeah. Shot, even though it's struggling. Yeah.
we're cooling the water down because we were clear up to 175 when we were doing the slot the um, when we were killing the pigs we just let the fire go because we knew we could cool it faster than trying to heat it back up if we put our fire all the way out so last I just checked was 165 actually and we're trying to get down to 147 you want to tuck the legs up We don't have much battery here either, but we're gonna start doing the field dressing and getting them gutted and all of that stuff while they're getting the skin off of that one, or not the skin, getting the doing the scalding and scraping to get the hair and all that stuff off. So it's not a pretty process, but here we go. enough and it was just a harder process to skin it hmm. so I'm gonna take and just get this portion of the hog this portion of the hog um, not skinned and pull off the hairs while we did butcher all three pigs on our countertop in our kitchen as you'll see, it was a bit of a butcher process. So we're gonna spare you all of the 
agonizing detail of that, of us watching YouTube videos to figure it out. Um, sure, it's educational, but it was just a little bit too slow, and hopefully by next time we'll have it figured out a little bit better and we can walk through the process a little bit more, showing you each of the cuts, uh, the knives that we're using, why we make cuts here, whatever. It's also a little bit of preference too because there were certain cuts that Elizabeth wanted to have versus what we we're watching on our YouTube videos where butchers may make more of a commercialized or a presentation type cut. We weren't as worried about that so we just went with it um, and, and I just cut as she wanted. So yeah, some of the pieces look a little bit different but that's okay. We're the ones that are gonna eat them and it's fine. Here I am in the pig pen where, where we killed the pigs a few weeks ago. It's a lonely sight now. Hopefully this will not be the future site of our pigs and hopefully it will be somewhere out in the pasture where we can get them a little bit more free range and pasture raised I guess rather than, it's not confinement but it's I don't know. They were confined to an area, but at least they had sun and diversity of food, I guess. So, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, maybe next time we'll be able to get a little bit more in depth, but um, 
I think it was a successful try and we got a lot of meat out of the deal. I think each of the pigs weighed about 300 pounds and we feel like we harvested about 200. Next time we'll weigh it so we know a little bit more and that'll give you a better idea as to what you should expect for uh, total harvest. But maybe we can do it for an upcoming deer um, harvest video here in about a month, I guess. Today's November 1st, so yeah, just right out of month we'll be going into deer season. So hopefully we'll get a good video put together of that and well, hopefully we can actually get a deer or two so we'll see how it goes thanks again hit subscribe and thanks for watching bye